gun barrel. I'm doing this outside at our campsite in Portage Bay in the Upper Peninsula. Thought I'd bring it along, something to kind of do, um, just to keep uh, keep myself entertained and, and keep things going. Um, been doing some fishing and swimming, so I thought this morning I would start the uh, browning process. So this is, you know, it takes two or three days to do it completely. So um, keep watching. Now, the first step is we're going to take some steel wool and just kind of try to sand off all the surface rust from just being handled over the last couple years to uh, get it cleaned up a little bit. Still nursing my right wrist. So. This is the barrel rib that the ramrod will go through. It goes on the bottom of the barrel. So we want to brown that too. Same thing, just being handled the last couple years. Moving around the bench. Now there's some staining where the surface rust was, I noticed. Hopefully that doesn't come through on the uh, other. You want to degrease it. doing to degrease it is this is contact cleaner you could use a brake cleaner I guess so I let it sit there and dry for a little while this is the, the browning solution from uh, Dixie Gunworks. Um, been super satisfied with its performance. If you've seen the previous videos, you've seen how it looked on my uh, other parts. says six to twelve hours the rust will form you don't want to get it down the barrel of the rifle because then it's going to rust the bore but really think you want a nice even coat so it doesn't look blotchy on the smaller pieces that was not as critical I guess but on this barrel I think it is I'm not. These are the wedge pins. This is the front sight. So I want to get them treated to. 
and that's it for now. Just let it set till this afternoon, and we'll see how it looks. Maybe I can get a second coat on it in the first day. Okay, just like in the other parts, you got to take and steel wool the stuff off, get it nice and smooth again. see it starting to stain stain the barrel the blotchiness will will disappear after some extra coats There's a lot of steel wool magnetized to it. Hey everyone, thank you for watching my video. Just a quick commercial break here. If you like my videos and you like my content, please subscribe, comment, ask questions, but don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you'll get notified when new content comes out. Thank you. You see the difference already? but it does appear to be blotchy. Just like in the prior videos with the other with the brass or with the uh, metal uh, trim, the butt place, trigger guard, stuff like that. I'll end up just using this uh, cotton to uh, scuff it down. Just get a good even coat on it. I noticed last time I did it, the blotchiness went away after two or three coats. Okay, we'll let it set for another six to 12 hours. Okay, here we are the next day. And you can see it's really taken on a, a good browning. But it still needs plenty of, of uh, a 
sanding. So it's just a steel wool. And this is where the I found that this sweat pants, sweatshirt material, these has come into play really good. So So all I got to do is just keep keep this process up. Just using the steel wool to get the surface rust off. See, look, it's already coming along. Still a little blotchy, but I think I can work that out. Well, after I steel wooled it and then buffed it off with a piece of cloth, and this is it's getting there. Start the process all over again. We're just going to keep doing this until I get the color I want. Part of the symbolism of doing this here is building this rifle it's part of my family it's got my uncle's and name on it my uncle all my uncle's names are on it my father's name is on it and up here at Portage Bay I have some of the fondest memories of my uncles, my aunts, and my dad, and my mom. It wasn't why I brung it up here to do it, but I got to thinking about it, and it just adds to the, to the meaning of the rifle, I guess. Okay, we just gotta let this do its thing. Start over again. Well, we're in Copper Harbor in the Kinawa, and I just got the barrel back out. I left it set for a week with that stuff on it. I haven't oiled it yet, so, so now I haven't oiled it yet, but you can see all the blotchiness is gone. So we'll put on a coat of oil. And see how I use Lucas gun oil. Been really happy with it. Prevents rust really well. It doesn't gum up after time. So let me put some oil on this thing. So there it is. I fully expect to have to put a couple more coats of oil on it to get it to even out. And that gun's gonna soak it up. So this is just the first coat. As you can see, it's fairly well consistent. So we're just gonna let it set here in the sun and dry. Okay, well, we're back home. And I was just uh, wanting to show you how the barrel turned out. got a really, really nice consistent pattern all the way through it so I even have a little bit of texture to it 
which I, uh, I do kind of like. So, um, there's a picture of the gun, basically. I still got some assembly to do. I guess that'll probably be the next video. So, stay tuned. As always, please comment, subscribe, click that notification bell. I have a lot of different videos ranging from everything from firearms to uh, raising chickens. So, um, some other short ones. Hope you enjoyed this. Next one, it should be uh, on completion.